views. Oh, oh. many views. <laughs> Matt Ramos, Purdue. Matt, congratulations. Thank you. Um, just give us your thoughts on being a finalist here. Uh, I mean, it's a dream for me. The job's not done yet. I mean, I just trust in everything in my ability and growing mentally with Purdue. Uh, they've been able to keep me mellow throughout all the matches leading up to this tournament especially. It's, uh, there's no comparison to any other tournament here. So being calm and trusting in, in that, trusting in that belief goes a long way. We'll open it up. What was going through your head in that last moment there, five seconds left on the clock? I mean, I it was either get out, get two, three takedowns. Um, but I'm, I wrestle. I have some freestyle background, and I know some dangerous positions on my feet. And I trust my ability. And sometimes you just gotta let it fly and just not really think. So I just went for uh, that front head pinch, and I felt the pop through, and I knew it was gonna be good in the end. But just trusting in that belief and able to execute all your attacks. But, um, Matt, people call this a shocker, but you did that to Lee in a duel. Unfortunately, you lost that. What did you learn from that loss to help you with this? Yeah, I, I think that ties into, uh, I mean, three-time national champion. Uh, there's a lot of nerves going on, especially the first time wrestling him. Uh, it didn't it go my way, but making sure to learn from it, watching film with my coaches to, to learn and grow from it. and. Uh, they, they, there's a new game plan for each match uh, to adapt and grow as an athlete. But from that first match, uh, just being able to keep the pace rolling on him the whole time, I think is huge. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> You're the first place winner in the Tony Ursland era. You had a late reversal in the quarterfinals. Was that on your mind at all to get on the podium in that uh, quarterfinal match? Um, wait, what was that? Sorry. Okay, so in the quarterfinals, you had a late reversal. Mm -hmm. You're the first place winner in the Tony Ursland era. Yeah. Was that on your mind at all when you fought for that position? Yeah, uh, I would. One quote, one thing that's been on my mind this whole tournament, uh, that's been like a repetitive theme and pattern, would be to wrestle through all the positions and. I said in a previous interview that it's that belief and that why, and I think that uh, towards the end of those periods when I'm really tired and I have to push through a new wall, I have to, I have to decide, uh, do I want to be an All-American, do I want to be a national champ? And just in those last couple seconds of those matches, uh, before the quarterfinals and in the quarterfinals, I just had to trust in what I believed in, I want, do I want to be a national champ, do I want to push through that, that situation to, to take me there? And, I just had to keep pushing on. And I think from that moment on, I'm, I'm ready to be a national champ. Heard you on your way in say, let's go Boilermaker Nation. Can you tell us more about like the culture at Purdue Wrestling and um, the support you have with your coaches, the fans, the guys? <laughs> oh man, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> with, uh, I'll start with the coaching staff. And they're the most amazing, supportive coaches um, any athlete could ask for. Uh, they, from watching film with you to, like, they want to get in that room with any like any of the guys on the team. I mean, that th I think that's huge to build a relationship to wanna, to to be and to be with those guys all the time and wanting you to grow. Like, okay, here you didn't do good in here. Let's work on this. Let's get in. Let's do the extra time to work on it. And I really value that at Purdue and with the coaches especially because they got your back no matter what. Either if it's in the sport of wrestling, school. And even after school, I see that guys that graduated, they're here like, hey, like, what's your plan? You know, they're, they're here for you for life. And I really think of them as a family. And as the guys, like my teammates, it's, it's a family. It's, I, I never really, like, I, I always said that before on other teams, but this is, this is no joke. Purdue is a family, and we are so close together. And I couldn't, I, I would not want to be anywhere else. This is, this is my home. Uh, so we had that, that winning moment. Was there a particular place in the crowd you would look in, or somebody you wanted to celebrate with, and that, that you, you know, it's probably get here? And yeah, my uh, my family, my my dad, my mom, my my brother last night came up. He it was 11 p.m. He goes, I mean, he's he's a nurse right now, and he said, I'm bored. And uh, today I wrestled his old teammate Killian Carndale, and he's like, I'm gonna drive up. He drove 12 hours uh, from 11 p.m. from Illinois to here hasn't slept and I'm I was always watching and waving to them throughout the match too because I'm like just got to keep it calm like it's it's serious but you, know, you got to live in the moment and I see them up there in the middle of the match I want to I'll wave them and say what's up because they're very important to me. Thank you. Matt, 
since you made the decision to go down to 25, how much time have you thought about Spencer? How much have you studied him? Hmm. What kind of what kind of things have been running through your head in regards to him? Okay, uh, going down to 25, I start off with it's not it's not that big. A lot of people are like, oh man, how are you going to get down to 25? I'm like, I walk around like 130. It's not that big of a deal. And growing up my whole life, I've seen Spencer Lee and. I've, I've like watched his matches growing up. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, that bar half, I'm like, I'm gonna learn that. In high school, middle school, I'm like, that's what I wanna learn. And the next thing you know, I'm like, I have a shot this year to wrestle him, like one of the, the goats in the sport of wrestling. So when I get to wrestle him, uh, it's just unreal. And I'm, I'm very excited that I get to wrestle one of the, the best wrestlers on the planet, you know? And to be able to beat him too, it's, it feels unreal. Parker just, Parker just won. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> anything, anything else for Matt? Matt, congratulations. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Let's go.